Hello YouTube, welcome back. Today we're going to be checking out a new DAW that has, uh, making a little bit of waves. It's called Blockhead. Single Dev has been working on it. Colugo is the YouTube channel in which this is uploaded. It's got 46,000 views in two weeks. A lot of buzz. Almost 600 comments. That ratio is big. It's a big ratio. We're going to take a look at this and then I also subscribe to their Patreon in which I got an alpha version of this DAW. So we're going to watch the video a little bit and then we're going to hop into the DAW. And see what we can do. Okay, so when when you open the program, you're presented with this uh, big sort of uh, empty canvas, and you have this uh, this playhead that you know, seems to move from left to right at a seemingly arbitrary speed. You, know, you could just place. Okay. Spl Wait, splice built in? Hang on. You can place things on the time JK. here, and. Okay, like so that. no grid. But I always thought it would be nice if you could treat it as like this, just like blank canvas. Like, I don't know what the hell I'm going to do. This is my creative hub or whatever. All I'm going to say is that Mozart didn't have a grid. So he's kind of spitting. Things that you're expected to do. It's just to decide what tempo you're going to work at. So in Blockhead, that's not the case. There's no global project tempo. The way that tempo works in Blockhead. Okay, so that's one track. Interesting. And now this is track two. So then you could put other shit on this track and then maybe like collapse them. Interesting. Okay. Uh, at that point, you can create this tempo guide thing. So you put in a tempo guide for a certain section of the song, 137 BPM. This guy's got the juice samples. Sheesh. And you can whatever. Oh, now we're snapping. Okay. Wait, that's kind of sick. I mean, this is just like basic DAW shit so far, but... You can even create another tempo guide if you want. Okay, we're going from 137 to 281. So you can overlap BPMs. Interesting. How would that even work? So it like blends them? So it goes like in between or does it like float between them in some fashion? It's kind of crazy. This would be perfect for fake genres. <laughs> Like a Def Jam, imagine. Uh, everything that we're doing here, by the way, is being constantly recorded to this loopback buffer. Input buffer. The fuck does that mean? Oh, resampling live? Hang on. Hello. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Yo, sample out. Hang on. Bitch battle just dropped. Hello. Ba -ba 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 -ba. So you get these sort of automatically generated slices, to, um, Oh. Which is just, it just turns off. It stops recording automatically. Vocal chop simulator. When the volume goes below a certain level. And then you can uh, just click to create a sample. Oh, that was actually really sick. It just dragged it out. I'm sure there is an Ableton equivalent, but that was cool. And then you can uh, just click. I mean, this is literally just an Ableton track, yeah, but. If you like. <laughs> or you can uh, just click and drag to. To generate your own slices. Generate slices. Um, which is just. Ba -ba -ba -ba. I mean, the pitching sounds good. I wonder if you can pitch the samples. <laughs> it has honestly been 16 and a half minutes of you can pitch in 17 different ways. Let him cook, though. Effects. Okay, destruction. I kind of want to see that. Go to that. Here is, I don't know, a high pass filter. So these are all the same block. And if you change, like, even if you open the, the envelope, you see it's it's the same block. You can edit it from different places now. Um, it's kind of interesting. Everything will just happen Whoa. automatically. So. It's pretty cool how it updates live. I do like that. It's pretty neat. So anything that has an amp parameter will be affected. And anything that has a pitch parameter will be affected. So that's how things works by default. Rhythm people go crazy with this, I think. None of, none of this is going to sound good, by the way. Um, uh, Come on, man. Sounds pretty good. Whoa, what? I'm gonna drag in a splice rhythm loop and just go fucking crazy. And with yeah, so after we watch this, I'm gonna make something in the alpha. I subscribed to his Patreon, it was called Bucks, and he has an alpha download. So I got the Windows version. We're gonna dip in and see what we can do. What is this? <laughs> Seahorse. Yeah, my bad. This this video is not really meant to be a, a tutorial. It's more just a what? What is it meant to be? Explaining what Blockhead is and how it's different. Okay, fair enough. I don't know. I'm... This dude's such a nerd. <laughs> yeah, he's a fucking software dev, dude. And he's British. It's the two combos that make super nerd. Come on. Um, what else need, do I need to say? You can create more macros. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, yes, I'm sorry. This is, uh, the reason I did all this is because I'm insane. Uh, <laughs> I know this is not a normal way to design uh, a door, but, uh, 
<laughs> this dude is he he in a human. He he. You know? Ooh, new skin alert. Hang on. A little orange Halloween vibe. A manipulator will. Pumpkin spiced daw. Mod that guy. Even though it's the same block, a manipulator will only affect the instances that it's uh, intersecting with. That's blockhead. I got the Patreon. I gave him money. Come on, support the indie dev. Let's open it up. Blockhead. You can press F1 to learn the keyboard shortcuts. We gotta do that. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, we're not gonna do this right now, actually. All right, we got our block. We're blocking. Uh, I saw him go over here to samples, so there aren't any here. I'm gonna open up Splice to see if you can do what any real musician will do in the modern day is drag in a Splice sample, okay? Keep on, keep on, keep on, walk, just keep... Okay. Dragging? Dragged. Holy shit. It's red. Placed? Whoa, okay. Oh, same as Ableton, zoom in. How do I add the... Uh... The BPM. I just want to like try and actually make a song, you know? Oh, that's cool. Let's get a host drums. It's as good as any loop. Here we go. White. Nice. All right. Place it. Oh, hang on. We're loading. We're not responding. It's alpha. Okay. It's alpha. Bro's barely started working on it. Okay. Okay. What is happening? It's okay. Can you recover your work? No. <laughs> My fucking song. Let's drag this in again. Okay. Here we oh, it's snapped. Okay, I can't drag it off the screen, I think. That's the issue. Send that to him. Squish that bug. Squash it. Okay, uh, add synth. Burke. He was using Burke. Let's get Burke in here. Kind of looks like a troll face. How do I add a... Tr okay, add track. Nice. It does snap. <laughs> Thoughts? Can I add reverb to that? That could be our tech host drop synth. Wait. Enhance. Wait, buzz. Okay, makes it like more soft, I guess. If I can make it like swoop up at the end, that'd be cool. Reverb swell that. Okay, cool. Diameter. Whoa. Wait, that's kind of sick. It's cool how it live updates the audio right in front of you. That is pretty dope. I bet you get really good at it and just see the audio and just know. Okay, that envelope was kind of neat. Uh, Pitch. Let's pitch it down. Make it like a horn kind of vibe, hopefully. Very good. How do we add an effect? That's the next vibe here. Add effect. Here we go. Okay. Destruction. I wanted to see what this did. Bit reduction. Add track. Bit reduction down here. Set color override. Whoa. Pumpkin spice. Let's go red. Let's go blue. Purple. Said it works top down. So anything below. Oh, that's crazy. Okay. Thank you. So I got to put this down here and then like this. So top down. I think this should work. Can't really hear anything. Drive. Oh, we don't have any drive. Amp. Maybe saturated just doesn't work. Has to be in the same grid. Oh. There we go, I think. Now we don't have any sound. We did it! We're so back. That is pretty cool how it changes the audio live if you put an effect above it. That's pretty fucking cool. Now let's add a reverb. That was actually the goal here. Space. Spring reverb. Insane. I'm gonna take off the saturator, I don't need that. That's kind of cool. Okay, how do I fuck with the reverb itself? Decay, okay, so it's just baked in. So I go like this and we'll up the decay here and it will fucking buzz out, hopefully. Big decay. Size, hang on, here we go. This is our tech host lead, ready? Why is it pitching? <laughs> Stahl loves to pitch. Okay. Pitch. Yeah, here we go. Just down to like negative 12. Boom, dun, dun, dun. All right, let's go back to splice and get a bass line. Tech house, bass. That'll do. And then we drag it right there. Definitely not warping quite right. But we can just press S, like you said, and drag it over and then fucking... This is the modern warping method. Who's that granular shit he was talking about? You're gonna start macro nesting? Give me time. I think we need the bass just coming in like off rip. Yeah. I want like a low one. That could work. Purple. 
massive. Oh, cool. So double click nest. That's pretty tight. We're already micro nesting at least. Baseline's going absolutely just degenerate. Okay, we gotta do a little mixing here. Turn this down, bro. Woo! Catch me in blockhead. Whoa, it's fucking huge. Baseline's nuts. Okay, it's our song so far. All right, um, maybe like a build up. So you can't use uh, can't use any MIDI aside from triggering samples. So build up BPM. Uh, I think we're at like 124 to 130 somewhere in there. Save, I'll save. Good show, nice. That'll do. Drag this up here. Build up. Okay. Let's see if we can do sidechain. So what we would do, we do add track and then we would do add effect. How to add volume automation, utility, gainer. That's what we need. No icon. <laughs> Huge. I love alpha. There's some shit I really like in this though, actually. And he needs to cook for a bit more. This might be a little tedious. Actually, I can go like this I, and then do over here and just like copy paste this as our side chain. Whoa, massive. This is gonna side chain everything hopefully. Amp, amp, nice, okay. I think it's working, right? I thought I heard, I think I heard that. I don't know if it's working. Is the side chain working? I don't think so. <laughs> Shit, how did we add an effect to something? Add effect, oh wait, add lane. We need the lane. Then we put this here, I think. Add another lane and then put this baseline in here too, I think, dot JPEG. Put this here, space up here. Oh yeah, and then enhance and it's side chaining, I think. What? So yeah, we probably want it like that. <laughs> let's, let's just play it. Sidechain so definitely working. I don't know why it's so like, actually, no, I think it's just, it's just working. I'm gonna save, yeah, good shot. Saving. So I want this uh, this synth to also be sidechaining. So add lane, put this down at the bottom. I need two lanes, not me getting in my lane. We need to drag these down to their lanes. No, that's right here. And then we drag the sidechain down here to the bottom lane. And then we drag these down to their lanes. And now they're, they should be sidechained, yeah. I feel like everything's like really loud and clipping. Bounce. What if I hit bounce? Let's see what happens. I'm gonna go here and we go. You can't. Okay. If you can only do it one by one. Bounce. Oh. fun i need eq i really need eq just to just just a high pass filters high pass put this down here that's our side chain put this right here all the way over here but this is also going to high pass the base shit so the seahorse filter on it yeah that's what we got delete that delete that Huge. <laughs> uh, okay. We're cooking. First day on FL, yeah. It's definitely giving first day vibes for sure. Add effect. What do we need? What am I trying to do? I'm trying to EQ, but just the synth. So get out of here. I also need to bring the side chain up to this other lane right there. Right click, put this up here below. There we go. Now the base has side chain. Crash counter. Achievement unlocked. Blockhead crashed. Oh my god. All right. Bring the bases up. Add lane. Bring this guy 
I have to copy him. Shit. Copied to here. Right click up here. Base side chain now. Base is side chaining. Synth is side chaining. But now we can just EQ them independently. Add lane. Add effect. High pass. We're so back. How do I scroll down? It's gotta be a way. Oh, we can just middle click like FL. That's nice. I always like that. Okay, frequency. What do we wanna yeah, like do 280? Get this out of here. All right, Serge. What is that? Voke? That's uh that's Burke, bro. Tongue position. Hang on. <laughs> producing add lane this star is so easy bam, bam. so i wish you could warp i don't know that might be a thing but still no tempo grid yeah i think uh i couldn't figure that one out it'd be nice if i did though Very good. It's like almost on time. We have two bases just going crazy. We probably don't even need that base. I'm going to mute them. All right, the next goal is to copy all of it into not just four bars. Right click on a lane, add tempo guide. Whoa. Whoa. Does it need its own lane? I'm adding so many lanes. Okay, so this is the, the BBM. 150, wait, how does this even work? It's gotta be like 120 or something. It's finally happening. First single for my debut album, Micro Celebrity. Let's go. It's called So Absurd. Working on this one for a bit, add it, save it. That'd be sick. Thank you so much. I hope you guys enjoyed the album. Hope you enjoy the first single. A lot more to come after this single. Enjoy the video. Okay, so here's our banger so far. Five maybe? Yeah. 125. Sure, okay, cool. And our tempo guide is still here. Huge. Actually, okay, that's kind of kind of intuitive. Is there a way to not snap here? Oh my god. There we go. And then we got a cut right here. It's probably on a triplet though. Okay. Cooking. That sounds fine. No! No! After all that fucking chopping! <laughs> oh, dude. We're so it's Jover. All right, so that's Blockhead. Hope you enjoyed, kind of interesting. Definitely really early. And uh, yeah, so that's that. And uh, I hope you enjoyed. Link to Blockhead in the description. Come through the Twitch, love you. Bye. Come through to the